2022 taxes. You should lay off the whiskey. This is where the chip was. It's 11.17. I allowed myself to sleep in today because I'm freaking tired. Getting up yesterday at 4 really did it for me. I didn't look at my candle. This is the high key for Evermood candle. So good. It really did it for me and I'm tired. I woke up with a headache and to be honest, I've been getting up with headaches often lately and I don't know what that's about. Perhaps stress. I do not know. But you know that stress makes you hold on to fat is it fat whatever it makes you gain weight and i'm like oh god almighty that ain't what i'm trying to do you know what I'm saying? so oh i posted on ig that i was getting rid of this extra christmas tree that i ended up acquiring as i was trying to purchase a new christmas tree so i just sent it via uber do you know that uber can send packages i did not ever know that what yo like the annoyance of sometimes needing to send something am i focused bless god the annoyance of sometimes needing to send something to someone and being like okay i'll, I'll bring it to you this time that time i am bringing nothing uber package delivery so I used it, I actually used it when I was giving away the extra stuff that I did not need from my studio. This was last week. And then I just used it again today. And it's not that expensive. So I'm now going to use that often. You can pick up something from someone or you can send something to someone. It's phenomenal. And then you track the package like, what? Girl, I did not know this. Listen, I am all about making things easier in life because I got too much going on. I don't have time. So yeah, I just sent that and I'm excited for this new family to get the Christmas tree. That'll be good because like I said, I was going to send it back, but like why? Just keep, pass it on. Praise God. And the Christmas tree is flourishing, which is great. I just had a meeting with my accountant and <laughs> note to self and note to you if you are a content creator or thinking about becoming a content creator. File your S Corp early because I filed my S Corp late. Although I filed it in March, I believe, I wish I filed my S Corp in last December, December 2021, because I filed it in whatever. I got approved in March, whatever it was, and <laughs> I would have paid less in taxes for 2021, but that did not happen. My taxes have easily been someone's salary, someone's salary. And it's horrific, but also shocking. But either way, had to do it. And obviously, thank God I had the money to do it. But that is now gone. I had an extension. So that's taken care of. Thank God. And then of course, tackling 2022 taxes, which we'll do soon. And then really and truly what I am supposed to be doing, like other people who are on it is paying quarterly. So I'm going to start doing that. My account and I discussed it. We're going to start doing quarterly because I don't like all this lump sum. You don't really know what it is. I don't like the surprises because this is a lot of money, but I'm going to end up paying less because we're filing as an S Corp going forward. I filed too late. So it wasn't, it didn't apply to 2021, but it will apply for 2022 and going forward. So praise God for that, because yo, know, it's great to make a lot of money, but then you gotta pay taxes, like, <laughs> you know? 
And I did not know that I could use my credit card to pay taxes. What? Obviously, pay the credit card off after you pay the taxes. But of course, I keep the tax money cash. And then I was going to do the cash. But it's like, oh, good. I can just do the card. So I love that. Just tips if you are an entrepreneur of any sort. Because why not get coins? Why not get all those flyer miles? I am all about flyer miles. I have so many miles. I already have 200,000 flyer miles, I believe, or close to 200,000, and I haven't touched them. I used it one time to go to Bermuda last early this year. I'm just holding on to them. I'm not even in a rush, because I don't know. I want to use it on something big and fun. So I'm just acquiring my miles, because why the heck not, right? That fireplace is just so aesthetic. I love it. So yeah, the heat is on because it's been cold. It was cold yesterday. I am thirsty. I need water. Where, well, what's going on here? I need to get okay. Here's my water. There's, there's nothing in here. I got to add some water to this. And I, oh, in eight minutes, have a meeting with a financial planner because that's important too. So I'm about to do that. I want to go to sleep. Like I said, I woke up with a headache, yo. It's like, why? It's already almost noon. I can't believe it. Anyway, yeah, that's what's going on right now. Let me get a coffee going. Have you seen my Nespresso machine? I almost said machine. Machine, maybe you've seen it on IG, but I'm about to make an espresso, espresso, Nespresso, espresso, whatever, that. <laughs> Hi. So I washed this wig. I've been, I have two that look like this and I've just been using the same one. This is the one that was recently, what, straight and I washed it and now I'm gonna put crimps in it. I've never in my life crimped my hair. So I'm about to do that right now. I have this heavy duty Chi Barbie 1.25. This thing is humongo. It was sent to me as a gift. I've never used this, but I imagine just by looking at it that this is going to be really good. So let's curl this thing. This is so big. I feel like it's good for thick hair. This hair isn't that thick, but it looks like it'll curl it quickly. I don't know. I don't want it to be tight crimps because I don't really do crimps. Actually, I don't, it's not that I don't really, I don't ever do crimps. So I don't know how this will even look on me. Let me stand this over here. This thing is big. Okay, so this is how my curls came out. They have fallen. They're not as tight. The ripples are not as secure. They have fallen, especially in the front. And perhaps I need more hairspray. I don't know. I don't do this style, but I like how it looks. I've never done the crimp and I love how it looks. So you just saw me put these flowers together. I don't think I did a great job. You know that I was doing books for maybe two years now, definitely at least a year. And to be honest, there were too many that came in the mail that were rotten. They didn't bloom very beautifully. And I was getting the premium one, so $70 a month. And it was just irritating to me that lately there were some issues. The company is great because they would I would contact them, they would give me a new book, a new bouquet, and it, you know, usually would be fine. But there were some bouquets that were so gorgeous that they would come and they would be rotten or something strange like that. So I'm just over it. I'm annoyed. And then sometimes they wouldn't last long long meaning some of them would last a week and a half some would last maybe a few days and it's like what and when i say last i mean until it starts getting crispy and just weird looking and for 70 dollars just not gonna work for me so 
I canceled my book subscription today and I, I have purchased hydrangeas from HEB in the past via Instacart and I just said to myself, self, why don't I go back to just ordering from the grocery store? Yes, I can go to the store and get it. Yes, I can go to Trader Joe's, but I don't go to the grocery store. I get delivery. So I just ordered Instacart HEB hydrangeas. I ordered five packs. They come in threes and then I cut them off trying to make them all the same level. I didn't do a great job. This is my first time cutting them. I normally keep them in a tall vase, but I want to use my shorter vase. Perhaps next time I'll use the taller one. I'm just trying to figure it out right now. You feel what I'm saying? So that is that on that. Oh my gosh. So I'm filming now on my new Sony ZV-1. I'm confused because there are two different ones, but I have been contemplating getting this camera for a long time and what helped me back is that it doesn't have image stabilization so while walking you're going to be feeling you're going to be it's not stable it's not smooth you see when you record with that iphone if you're walking it's smooth it's as if there's a gimbal on the phone this one doesn't have that stabilization and whenever i watch videos from people who have this camera i'm annoyed because of the instability of the video well what what pushed me away from the Canon G7X is that I'm not always in focus. I'll be talking and moving and doing things and then, you know, showing something. And next thing you know, I'm not in focus. And then I'm constantly having to tap my face to get in focus. It just, I'm over it. I value being in focus more than I value the image stabilization. So I just had to bite the bullet. I did turn off the ND filter, is that what's called? The, smooth, the skin smoothing filter turns it off it's, it's off brand for me i don't agree with it i don't do filters i keep it all the way real so as you can see skin pores the whole nine yards that's what i'm about that's what i am about okay so yeah i look forward to seeing how this comes out i've been trying to figure out how to use it and stuff and i think i got a handle of it it's different i've never owned a sony so it's different i am getting a sore throat again getting i already have it so i'm not i'm not getting it. i already have it so that has been annoying me today and i've been trying to clean but it's so hard to clean my studio i feel like it's a never ending cleaning job i just have so much stuff and i'm still doing giveaways i took a break because it all adds up but still doing giveaways and because i gotta get some boxes out of my studio so <clears throat> just genuine authentic engagement and you will be tapped on the shoulder theoretically and you'll receive a giveaway box again i would love to do it internationally but take my bra off okay this is too much for me i would love to do it internationally and i tried and when i went to go to the post office to see how much it cost a hundred dollars to send a box of stuff that i didn't even pay for mm -mm. you know it's pr that's extra that i don't need or stuff that i bought that i don't need or want like what mm -mm. Mm -mm. so very sorry, I can't do it. Because I send hefty boxes. I'm not just sending you one thing. Mm -mm. If anybody is in the U.S. and you've ever gotten a giveaway box from me, I want you to comment down below and just give the people an idea of how full the box is. I'm not just sending you an eyeshadow palette. I'm sending you a bunch of stuff, okay? So yeah, really sorry about that. So I've been working on getting that together. I am just... Tired. So I'm about to wash my face, take off these lashes, and lay down. I have such a long vlog to edit. Not this one, a different one. It's so long. And when I went to Cancun for Thanksgiving, I brought my... I needed to get better at softening the glue before taking it off, but thankfully this wasn't too... It wasn't adhered too tight, so it wasn't too bad. But I'm just... It's really bad that I just pull my lashes out. It's really not good. So I was, I am editing two different vlogs on two different computers, one on my desktop and one on my laptop. I need to do my nails. Oh, they're just so raggedy looking. And that has really been helpful because, is this a hangnail? What, do you, what is a hangnail anyway? Is it just a skin? I don't even know. I need to go get my nails done, like a manicure because it just needs to be done in order for everything to look nice. But I tell you, the idea of going to just sit there and I just, I just feel like there's so much more I could be doing than sitting there. So I don't be liking to go to the nail salon. <clears throat> I value doing it myself, 
but for the manicure i do need them to do it you know so that my nails can just be cleaned up and then i come home and i'll do the polish gel on my toes which i need to do again because they look janky and then i need to do my hands my nails came off in, Ca in cancun and I, I need to do them but i have so much to edit and you know me when i have a lot to edit i get anxious and i just get restless so having long nails i feel slows me down wow we are chatting and i have one eyelash in how does that make you feel mm -hmm. I'm gonna go get something to clean my lash line, but I have to take off my contacts first because I have my contacts in and I don't wanna get my, I don't wanna get product in my eyes, hang on. What I do like is that on this camera, I can see that it says recording REC, which is nice. On my other one, I didn't, so I always just have to hope that I actually press record. And then I see the blinking red light, which is another indicator that it's recording, so. You know, I can't lie, I don't do gloss often and having a gloss on, I feel it's making me talk weird. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking weirdly because it just feels wet in my mouth. You know, I'm so accustomed to a matte lip, but then glosses be looking so cute. I put this, this little bit of, who knows what on my lip, but I put this uh, Sephora collection blush, a gloss that I just got today, just on top of this lip and it looks so, nice i'm gonna do it tomorrow Ooh, i need to tell you what lip combo this is this is micellar water on a q-tip i'm just rubbing it to loosen out the glue and then take off the lash this is really the responsible way to take off eyelashes but do i always choose the more responsible method no see how easy they came off i do not always take the time to do that and i literally be ripping my eyelashes off I mean, it's not okay. I can see bald spots on my eyelashes. It's just um, really, really negligent. So there's that. All right, I can't talk anymore with this lip gloss on. <laughs> Let me take it off. It's just too much for me. And you know what? I always get questions in my DM because people are, usually it's DM. Sometimes it's on the main page, but Ooh, a little crusty. But people are really insecure about it, so it's not it's usually a, a, a pers what a private conversation. So I, I get questions about how my lips became discolored and how I feel about it and what I do about it. And I don't do anything about it. And I feel nothing about it because they've been like this for as long as I can remember. Honest to God, and they got lighter after I gave birth I even noticed it and I was like wait why is it more like pronounced I mean the lightning came down more and I was like what's going on but I'm so used to it this is me and I don't feel any way about it when I wear makeup I of course like to wear a full coverage or full like a, a matte lip because it covers the entire lip with that color and if I'm wearing a lip color I want to see that lip color but when I have no makeup on, I'm fine with my lips. I don't put any color on it. I just put a clear gloss on it and I keep it going. But with makeup, because my lips are dark, mostly dark and then light on the inside, I of course like for the color to be full coverage, full matte. I don't want no sheer nothing. The sheer stuff can go on top of something matte, but it needs to be full coverage. So the whole color needs to fill the lip, essentially. So it's an all or nothing deal for me. Not just some gloss with a full face. To me, that's never going to work. I like for there to be a color, like what you saw. I had this brown concoction going on. So yeah, I love my lips. I, it's me. I don't even think about it. Literally don't think about it. But I can see how it can make some people feel insecure. And I've mentioned this before. I've been told that perhaps I have liver disease or you should lay off the whiskey. Like, how? Your mother, first of all. And we've discussed this too. Everything someone says to me, my response is your mother. Okay? It's your mom. Just right there. It's your mom. The whole entire intent behind that is to hurt. So there's that. But I don't drink whiskey, right? I don't, God forbid, have liver disease or whatever I've been told. It's, I've done blood work, no one's ever, no doctor's ever told me that. So all this internet foolishness. This is not ever told to me with an undertone of concern. It's more like an attack, you know. 
And that's where I then, in some cases, go low with you, you know, and just shoot you right back, you know. All right, so you have flossing, because flossing is very important. I talked in my Cancun vlog about the four-step dental hygiene routine. Like, come on, wigs off. I was so tired of the hair in my face. Like, I'm just not into it right now. I'm just over it. Okay, you need to make sure you floss, brush your teeth, brush your tongue, or scrape your tongue, and do your mouthwash. Like, please, I beg you, okay? So, let's go. to my assistant which i'm so grateful to have because it allows me to have hello are we in focus praise god having her <laughs> this is the new camera so i know we're in focus but you know i gotta just check because i'm i'm traumatized from the old situation you know that old thing i was just sending her a voice note because i had her in charge of helping me get my website together with the graphic design which is a black woman black owned business love that she killed it cannot wait to actually launch that because i need a website you know what i'm saying I already had the domain from years ago. Remember? Anyway, I don't, it's, not, it's not even worth bringing it up because what is the point? What What is the point? Forget it. I have not done my hair today. I'm actually under the weather. I've been taking medicine. I, I think I told you this the other day. I don't know. And it has made me just really sluggish. Not to mention, oop, am I looking droopy? I can't. Not to mention, I'm just feeling tired, yo. Just... So freaking tired and it's got to be because it's the end of the year. I don't be taking breaks. You feel what I'm saying? And with that said, I am definitely going to be doing that at the end of this month. Not the dryer making noises. It's so loud. I got to turn it off. And I just cannot wait to do that. I signed up for HelloFresh because number one, almost every YouTuber that I watch is doing a HelloFresh ad. So they are doing a very good job. Honey, they have worn me out, okay? They have worn me down. So now I've signed up for HelloFresh and I used a really good coupon code because I don't have time to think about meals. I don't even have time to cook meals. And I can't lie, I don't be feeling like it. I know how to cook. I know how to get it done. I just don't be feeling like it. I got too much to do. And for that reason, I just need things to be really easy. So HelloFresh sounds like it'll do that. I know that the Fit and Wholesome plan isn't keto, but it is Fit and Wholesome. So what I'll be doing is just picking what I can eat out of that. And already you should know that I eat to live. I don't live to eat. So if I just get a few things and I'm full, I'm fine. Honestly, I just figure it out. And sometimes I eat once a day. It just depends on how I'm feeling. I don't eat to stuff myself full. I just eat to still be alive. So uh, if I make a meal and some of it is not right, I'll just try, I'll avoid maybe if it's a sauce that's like sugary, I won't do the sauce or I'll figure it out. I, I'm, I just signed up when it comes. You'll see. We'll see how it's going. If and, and you can choose. So I went in and I was choosing my three meals. So, you know, if I find three that work, oh, we're going to be out of saying three because... I mean, come on. I grew up in a Ghanaian household. We had the same four or five dishes each week or each month. And, and just on rotation. It just is what it is. This, this is not time to reinvent any, reinvent any kind of wheel. Mm -mm, we ain't doing that. So, yeah. <clears throat> I look forward to that. Getting that started today. Uh, Wednesday. Getting that started Wednesday. Because I, I just don't have time. I'm just sick and tired. And, of course, I'll buy the other, just the other things. The snacks and the whatever else. But I'm just I'm annoyed. I really and truly just want the meals made. <laughs> But if the stuff is here already, then I can make it fine. It's just the whole thought of what am I making? Do I have the ingredients? I'm like, no. The answer is no. My time is limited. I have so many things that I want to do, so many things that I need to do, and then you need the energy. So I, <clears throat> to make things easier, I'm glad I finally bit the bullet and did that. You know, I'm reading the book 
well, I don't want to say get rich quick. It's not. It's we should all, we should all be millionaires. And she talks about I forget the acronym or whatever phrase she uses, but essentially the things that you need to do in order to get where you want to go. It's pretty simple, right? So if I want to be a millionaire, I've got to alleviate myself of certain things that can be alleviated in order to allow me to do more things that will allow me to be a millionaire. So if taking, if thinking of what food to eat and, th and making the food and whatever else and cleaning the house and whatever is taking away time that I could be using toward my business, toward growing and scaling and so forth, then that needs to be outsourced is what essentially she was saying. I'm not using the right words and all that. I have a bookmarked, right? <clears throat> but that's the idea. And I love that because I already had started that last, was it, is it a year now? I don't know. With the, with the cleaning company, which is phenomenal. I do the basics. Of course, you know, I'll vacuum. I do my dishes. Obviously I don't mop the floor because in one month I don't need to just little spots. I do laundry. Other than that, I don't, I don't do showers and toilets. I clean the gas toilet because sometimes you need me bombing it up, honey. So I do that every now and again, but I don't be doing anything else outside of that. That is huge. That is huge. I mean, oh, counters, you know, the basics, the table. That is huge, yo. Mm -mm. Everything else, they come and they do. And I feel like it's, it's, it's not I feel like it is a huge weight lifted. It's, it's so worth it. So yeah, now with the meal company, it's not meal prep. It's not ready, which would be great. And I thought about that too. And I'm like, how and where? And you know, I'm an overachiever. I like to do things. I, I have tons of ideas. I always want to do, but it can be paralyzing because, and it's like, okay, which one do I do first? And I've been loving my iPad mini because I write things down and I <clears throat> just check off what I can and all that. So it helps to get it out of my head. But yo, it's like, uh, I want to do so much, but then if I don't feel well, clearly the wisest thing to do is to rest. So I'm forcing myself right now to rest, but I can't lie. Part of me is like, yo, go edit this. Why don't you do makeup and just film this and do this and do this? It's like, Ugh. and tomorrow I'm getting my tooth filled. The one I told you about that, whatever, I told you the whole story. So I'm getting it replaced tomorrow and I plan on filming before I go to the dentist and the dentist you messing up your mouth yo you go to the dentist with lipstick on you can just forget about it you know they just don't be they be so ruthless pulling on your lips and stuff like yo can you just can you just address the tooth problem and not touch my lips you know did you have to touch my contour when you were fixing my tooth I just wish that you didn't you know can we do this process without you spraying me like a shower I just wonder you know, inquiring minds would love to know if you'd be able to do this fill without disrupting my highlight. I'm just wondering, you know, so I'm like, should I wash my face before I go get my freaking tooth filled or what, son? I mean, I don't want to know, but then again, you know, the face is full of coverage, you know, the face is full, full. So if I roll up in there with a full face and walk out and the lipstick is looking like this, then we got a problem, you know? So it's just the potential to look stupid that I'm really not, I'm, it's, it's really not tickling my fancy. So I may just film and then wash my face because I can't. It's really all or nothing to me. It's all or nothing for me, excuse me. And I don't recall if they, uh, I think it's a quick process. I don't know if they're going to hold my mouth. They ain't got time for all of that, you know? Like, I don't want a full face of makeup, please. <laughs> Go easy. I remember one time I had gone to get my teeth cleaned during my lunch break at work. I said, never again. What? <laughs> the way you will leave there looking so stupid. Mm-mm. It's not possible. Part of it. So I used to chill all that down, then put this on, and then I put the wig on with the combs in my hair. Well, no, it's because I had, I, don't know, I just didn't really understand it. And I was just, anyway, it doesn't matter. So now I have this, and I don't let the lace show because it's not what I like. <laughs> and I just put it on. You know, in the back. Oh, let the ears go out. And then I put the wig on top. I actually need to tighten this wig. I think this is the way I always wear it. It's in my bio all the time. This is the way I oh. This is the way I always wear top. Top. This is the way I always wear it. It's in my bio all the time. I really do end up doing better. Ooh. Better. 
Hello Fresh Honey. Okay, so remember how I said I ordered Hello Fresh? I think this is my order. I've never seen this kind of a vehicle come to my house. Hang on. Because they had an email saying that they'll be here between nine and something. This vehicle just looks very unique. And the company is called Veho. It's definitely got to be them. Let's go check this out. Not you coming to the crib or whatever. <laughs> Look at me. I be peeking out the window almost like no one is here. You know, because if I don't want to be home, I don't want to be home. You feel know what I'm saying? Like, there's some cases where I do, there, yeah, it is HelloFresh. There's some cases where I do want to be home, and there's some cases where I just don't want to be home. You feel know what I'm saying? It is interesting. Good morning. Okay. You can just put it down then if you need a picture of it. Thank you. Let's go take a look and see what's in this box, though. So. Okay, Cream. all right, so it tells you, creamy lemon spinach ravioli option. Okay, good, that's good. And then this one says the shrimp, sizzling shrimp, whatever, whatever. Okay, so it's individually packed. Oh, all right, what is this? They got rice up in here, okay. Oh, this is for the shrimp dish, and then another shrimp dish. Okay, so it's individually packaged. Again, I don't remember seeing this specifically when I see y'all's videos. Uh, what's this? Okay, we got chicken cutlet, shrimp. Oh, all right, so the meat is, ooh, okay. The meat is in this bag, oh, it's falling apart. Oh my. All right, so the meat is in this bag that is wet, it's melted. Dang, y'all wanna put some, some more uh, ice up in here? Okay, so these things need to go in the, does it go in the freezer or the refrigerator? I would imagine it goes in the refrigerator, right? <laughs> Enunciating. I would imagine, right? Because the idea is they would be cooked quickly. Keep refrigerated or frozen, then thaw in the refrigerator or microwave. Okay, so I'm going to keep them in the refrigerator. Keep refrigerated or frozen. I'll just keep them in the refrigerator. This is the, for the chicken something something. Okay, and then there's this big bag of ice. The ice was melting. Okay. All right. And then is this stuff dry stuff? I don't know if I should open it yet. What should I do today? I don't even know. I'll do the shrimp one today. Let me look at it. Like, what's inside of this? Hold on. Because I don't know if this is dry. Okay, so this is another rice and veggies. Oh, and the lemon and the... Okay, so the fixings are in here. What is this? A piece of ginger? Wow, they didn't really give you every little thing. And then the rice. Interesting. Okay. So everything does need to go in the fridge. Okay, got it. You know, it's just, it's just not very clear. Yeah, it's me having perfect teeth for me. So you know how I said I needed to get my tooth filled because I had a chip? Okay. So this is where the chip was ages ago. Like literally, she asked me when it chipped. And I had to think about it. Where's my phone? I had to think about it. And it literally was... 13 14 years ago it's been a minute yo i've been in houston for 12 years that's insane to me she's like i'm looking at your tooth and i don't see a problem let me see if we're, if we're looking at the same tooth and i was like what do you mean so she gives me so she gives me a mirror and she's like is this the tooth right here the chip i said yeah we have one chip she's like it looks fine it looks like it has leveled itself off i'm like what she said that last year in december she noticed that the chip the fill-in had chipped and I was like, what? I don't recall the fill-in chipping. Well, last year it wasn't covered to get the fill-in fixed. She's like, looking at it right now, your fill-in looks fine. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm like, excuse me, what do you mean? Because I used to be able to tell my fill-in area because the color was different from my teeth because I have been whitening. Well, somehow, some way, it has all blended together. And she's like, just from, you know, usage and wear, it just, it has all leveled. So she said the chip part that she noticed last year is no longer there. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? So while I was there, I did get the fill, how do you say it? The impressions again to get a new tray for whitening because my tray is jacked up. And then she's like, if I were you, I wouldn't even touch it. Because since it looks so good, if you touch it, it could cause more issues. I said, well then I ain't got no problem with it then, then don't, don't give me that big old needle, yeah, that needle is huge, oh, Jesus, she goes, no, 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 I wasn't gonna numb you anyway, because the fill is at the, is at the, at the tip, I said, oh, I wasn't gonna get numb, 
I'm, I'm just like, I don't have the right information for this appointment today. Long story short, I never got my fill replaced. I never needed my fill to be replaced. So, at least I got my tray. So there's that, and I'm glad I came without makeup because th that whole fill it. If you, if you've ever gotten whitening trays, the thing that they put or braces or maybe what else y'all be getting Invisalign, y'all look at me, y'all whatever people be getting. I don't know if they do that to you, but they put that tray, the impression thing. Jesus, slam! It was all of my lips, my cheeks. I'm like, really, <laughs> ma'am? It's so messy. So I'm glad I didn't have on any makeup. Let me stop talking. Talking a lot makes my throat irritated. I just anyway, I'm done today. I'm gonna go home. I have. I have some more time now before I go pick up you from school. What I do, look, I'm trying to spend this time with you. you know we all for do what you're doing right now. Right now. Baby, won't you swing my way? It's been a day and I've been thinking all oh, long. I know I want you. Long time since the last time. Got a tab, we can run up. Know you from the way now we grown up. My look, yeah, made the realest ones nervous. But if you want it, tap in. I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash it. We could keep the pace on slow jam. Don't keep me on red. Can we go back? Where we first began, no plans, all we have was the moment. Just text, I know it's a toss-up.